Hey everybody, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a natural looking sunburst effect to a photo using On One Photo Raw. We're gonna work in the effects module for this. Now there's a filter, it's called Lens Flare. I don't use it very often, but it does have a sunspot mode that when used properly, it can really add a nice accent to your photos that feature a point in the sky or a point in the scene where the sun is sitting. So this photo here I've got of uh, you know the, the sunrise coming up over the distant hills, got a bridge in the foreground here. And I want to accentuate the, you know, the little fingers, these bursts of lines that we have here. And so before we add this in, I want to zoom in and take a look at what's going on right where the sun's happening. So think about the scene naturally. What's happening here? Well, the sun is not in front of the bridge. It's behind it. But there will be some of those beams of light that will appear in front of the, the, the support structures of this bridge here. So I want to make sure I maintain that when we create this effect. So let's go over to the filters and we'll add lens flare. Now by default we get a flare. Now this is an effect I rarely use. In the type area we have sunspot and I'm going to take the rays and crank this up very far just so we can see what's going on here. So here are all these different beams of light coming out from a single point and we can even you know, make that really strong or really weak. Let's just do something uh, this is very over the top, but so we can see what's happening here with the effect. And the other piece is this little point here. This is our center point. We can say where we want the sun to go. So I'm going to click and drag around. I can put the sun wherever I wanted to. Of course, it makes sense for this photo to put it right here. Now, currently, this does not look very good at all, right? There's too much sunburst going on. Obviously, the rays are really high, but that's for visual purposes in the video right now. But the biggest problem is everything is in front of the, the, uh, the bridge here. We've got all of this extra light showing up. It doesn't make any sense. So this is where we're going to add a luminosity mask. I talk about luminosity masks a ton in my Mastering Light and Shadow course. And this automatically makes things look much, much better. Now, I'm going to turn off the effect and turn on. So we're getting this nice, more natural looking uh, sun flare appearance. Now I want to tone back the number of uh, fingers here that we have, the number of rays, to something a little more uh, subdued. Something maybe somewhere around there is looking kind of good. And the one final tweak I'm going to do is add a gradient mask using the edges shape. So I'm going to select the mask, I'm going to choose edges and I'm going to put that right in the center here. What is edges doing? It's removing, whoops, let's get that point correct. It's removing the effect outside around the edges of this mask. And so when I put this down in here, it's making sure that these fingers fade really, really nicely and naturally into the scene. And we can make that a very nice wide feather. Matter of fact, we'll make this kind of big. And so now we see before and after. That's a much more natural looking accent to a sunburst. And I find this works very well when you have silhouetted subjects, you know, thinking dappled light through trees in a forest, even if you don't have a single point that's obvious like it was in this photo with the sun, anywhere where you could decide that this is where the sun is coming from in this scene, and then you use a luminosity mask, and then play around with the edges shaped gradient to really fine tune your look and make it look nice, smooth, and natural. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.